Leonidas, who lived down 530 to 480 BC, and he is the king of the city-state of Sparta until his death in the Battle of Thermopylae against the army of Persia, 480 BC. Although Leonidas lost the battle, his death at Thermopylae was regarded as a heroic sacrifice, and he drove off most of his army. Realizing that the Persians had outwitted him, 300 of his Spartan brethren stayed with him and were fought and died. Almost everything we know about Leonidas comes from the writings of the Greek historian Herodotus, circa 484 to 425 BC. Hoplite training. Leonidas was the son of the Spartan king Anaxandrites, who died circa 520 BC. And Leonidas became king when his older half-brother Cleomenes I, also a son of Anaxandrites, died under violent and slightly mysterious circumstances in 490 BC without having produced a male heir. Did you know? The Thermopylae Pass was also the site of two other ancient battles. In 279 BC, Gallic forces broke through Greek forces there by using the same alternate route that the Persians did in 480 BC. In 191 BC, the Roman army defeated an invasion of Greece by the Syrian king Antiochus III at Thermopylae. As king, Leonidas was a military and political leader. Like all male Spartan citizens, Leonidas has been mentally and physically prepared since childhood to become a hoplite warrior. Hoplites were armed with round shields, spears and iron daggers. In battle, they used a formation called a phalanx, in which rows of hoplites stood directly next to each other, so that their shields overlapped with one another during a frontal attack. This wall of shields provided significant protection to the warriors behind it. If the phalanx broke, or if the enemy attacked from the side or the rear, however, the formation became vulnerable. It was this fatal weakness to the otherwise formidable phalanx formation that proved to be Leonidas' undoing. Against an invading Persian army at the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC. Invasion of Persian by Xerxes. Ancient Greece was made up of several hundred city-states, of which Athens and Leonidas' Sparta were the largest and most powerful. These many city-states competed with each other for control of land and resources, but at the same time banded together to defend against foreign invasion. Twice at the beginning of the 5th century BC, Persia attempted such an invasion. In 490 BC, the Persian king Darius I, around 550 to 486 BC, had instigated the initial such attempt as part of the First Persian War but a combined Greek force turned back the Persian army at the Battle of Marathon. And then ten years later, during the Second Persian War, one of Darius' sons, Xerxes I, around circa 519 to 465 BC, again launched an invasion against Greece. Battle of Thermopylae Under Xerxes I, the Persian army moved south through Greece on the eastern coast, accompanied by the Persian navy moving parallel to the shore, to reach the Persian destination in Attica, in which the region was controlled by the city-state of Athens. The Persians needed to go through the coastal pass of Thermopylae, or the Hot Gates, so known because of nearby sulphur springs. In the late summer of 480 BC, Leonidas led an army of 6,000 to 7,000 Greeks from any city-states 
including 300 Spartans, in an attempt to prevent the Persians from passing through Thermopylae. Leonidas established his army at Thermopylae, and expecting that the narrow pass would funnel the Persian army toward his own force for two days. The Greeks withstood the determined attacks of their far more numerous enemy. Leonidas' plan worked well at first, but he did not know that there was a route over the mountains to the west of Thermopylae that would allow the enemy to bypass his fortified position along the coast. A local Greek told Xerxes about this other route and led the Persian army across it, enabling them to surround the Greeks. Much of the Greek force retreated. Rather than face the Persian army, an army of Spartans, Thespians and Thebans remained to fight the Persians. Leonidas and the 300 Spartans with him were all killed, along with most of their remaining allies. The Persians found and beheaded Leonidas' corpse, and it is an act that will considered a grave insult. After the battle, Leonidas' sacrifice, along with that of his Spartan hoplites, did not prevent the Persians from moving down the Greek coast into Boeotia. In September 480 BC, however, the Athenian navy defeated the Persians at the Battle of Salamis, after which the Persians returned home. Nonetheless, Leonidas' action demonstrated Sparta's willingness to sacrifice itself for the protection of the Greek region. Leonidas achieved lasting fame for his personal sacrifice. Hero cults were an established custom in ancient Greece from the 8th century BC onward. Dead heroes were worshipped, usually near their burial site, as intermediaries to the gods. Forty years after the battle, Sparta retrieved Leonidas' remains, or what were believed to be his remains, and a shrine was built in his honour.